Before we dive in, here's another show you can enjoy in the True Story FM family of entertainment podcasts. Ever wonder what bridges the gap between your favorite film genres, subgenres, and movements? Cinemascope is here to explore these connections, taking you on a thrilling odyssey through the ever-evolving art of cinema. I'm your host, Andy Nelson, and in each episode, we embark on a deep dive into the forces that sculpt the world of film. From the styles you know and love, like heist films or the French New Wave, to the ones you may not be as familiar with, like Turkish Yeshelcham or Brazilian Nordesterns, my expert guests and I unravel the complex tapestry of storytelling, style, and innovation that defines the world of film as we unpack the myriad catalysts of change that shape these diverse styles. Whether you're a student of film, a creative professional, or simply a devoted movie enthusiast, Cinemascope is your gateway to a richer, more immersive film experience. Don't just watch movies, understand them, appreciate them, and revel in their artistry with Cinemascope. Subscribe today. What's up, Supernatural super fans? I'm Chrissy Lenz. And I'm Nate McWhorter. And we're the hosts of Gang, Gang That, that Drink. Drink, a supernatural drinking game podcast. It's the podcast where we make up drinking game rules for our favorite episode of our favorite show, Supernatural. We recap the episode for you and let you know how all the rules played out. Then we let you know the drinking game rules for the next episode so you can play along. Plus, members get every episode early and ad free. With some extra bonus content chit chat at the end of each episode as a member exclusive. So download Gank That Drink, a supernatural drinking game podcast wherever the finest podcasts are available. And or become a member at truestory.fm slash gank that drink. And when you're out there in the world saving people and hunting things, you know, the family business. Keep the gank that drink motto in mind. Be excellent to each other and party on. Party on, on dudes. dudes. and Hair presents, in association with True Story FM, the Swashbuckling Ladies Debate Society. Today's adventure, the lucidity. Godi, over here! Zinnia! There you are. Isn't this great? It is quite a wonder. I can't recall the last time a carnival came to town. It seems all of Massania has turned out to celebrate. Where's Saffron? As we were walking, we ran into Cynthia. They are speaking right over there. That's what's great about these celebrations. You never know who you're going to run into. What are we celebrating, anyway? Being together, of course. And where were you just now? A sordid triste? Don't I wish. I was trying to convince Viviana and Ursula to come out, but they're still working on... whatever it is they're working on. Do you know? I don't, but they've been quite intense about it. I don't wish to pry. They said they'd be along later. Excellent. You know, you don't have to stay with us. You can run off with your friends. Don't let us slow you down. You slow me down? That's never been a problem. <laughs> Besides, I um, I don't really have any. Hello, Goldie. Hello, my love. Sweet Saffron. What's wrong? You seem out of the sort. I just got some good news, which is also bad news. Cynthia was offered a very generous grant to continue her work. The DuPont name will be written in the history books, and Cynthia will be holding the pen. That seems like good news. Why are you sad? Because it requires her moving to Wales. Immediately. Like, immediately, immediately? Yes, she's going home to pack right now. I'll be seeing her off tomorrow morning, and then that's it. Oh, Saffron. <laughs> it's fine. I'm happy for her, and she's happy about it, but... I'm also going to miss her. 
You still got us. Of course I do. But are you going to go listen to an hour-long lecture on Byzantine architecture with me? Or a recitation of Greek poetry? I would try. I know you would. Ed would hate it the whole time. Of course, Cynthia and I will still correspond, but I'm going to have to neglect that part of myself. I'm so sorry, Saffron. Me too. But we're still here together at a once a year event. Let's have some fun and leave goodbyes for later. An excellent idea. And I know just what would hit the spot. Meat. Meat? I smell roasting meat and we all must have some. I hope it's on a stick. Be back in two shakes, no less. That lady loves a party. She does indeed. I don't want to be a stick in the mud, so your job is to keep things light tonight. Got it? Does that involve heavy amounts of adult beverages? It most certainly can. Now we're talking. Huh. What happened? We were on an upswing and now you're broody again. What gives? Look at Zinnia and the meat vendor. Where? Oh, the lady with all the tattoos. She's pretty, if you like mobile art. They're flirting. What? No. <laughs> Never. What? <laughs> Coldy, this is Zinnia we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, fine. They're flirting. So what? That's what Zinnia does. She's, you know, saucy. I know. I know. I love her free spirit. But I've been thinking about something Trevor said. Do not let that guy get into your head. He was a possessive idiot who wanted to steal you away. Yes, to all the above. But even a stopped clock is right twice a day. Am I holding her back? From what? Zinnia does what she wants when she wants. That's not true. She was much more free with her love before she met me. Yeah, and you kissed boys. You both grew up and got over it. But after all this, I still ended up as a housewife. And I made her into one too. Maybe she'd be happier if she had more options. What, the meat lady? Compared to you? Under all that ink, she's got nothing on you. Not just the meat lady. All the women, all the men, all the options. Did I domesticate what should always have been left running wild? You're spiraling because of the Cynthia thing. And you want to take advice from that southern fried chicken ex of yours? You're right. You're right. Of course you're right. You need to talk to Zinnia about this. Here she comes with the food. And I see some colorful bottles over yonder, so I'm going to go buy us something that could strip paint off the walls. Be right back. Where is Goldie off to? Liquor. Ah, excellent. Try some of this. What is it? Meat. Sometimes it's uh, better not to ask too many questions. Just eat. Oh, that is positively sinful. Indeed. I'm so happy to be here with you tonight. And I have vowed to bury your spirits no matter what. I... <laughs> I believe you mean buoy my spirits. And I appreciate that. I've been looking forward to tonight as well. One small thing before we throw ourselves into hedonism. Are you worried about Goldie? No. Why? She's happy. She's yet to find a skill she can't grasp, and I'd be terrified to face her in combat one-on-one. -on -one. Oui. She is wonderful to have around. But sometimes I fear we ask too much of her. If she didn't want to do something, she wouldn't do it. <laughs> no, that is not what I meant. She doesn't really have any friends. She has us. And Mrs. Dumer. Yes, but we are older. She doesn't spend much time with anyone of her own age. Unless she's out on a date. She's friendly, but where are her friends? Hmm. I never really thought about that. Uh, an idle thought, and no need to add to our list of worries. The drinks have arrived! <laughs> At last! Uh, it is time to eat, drink, and be merry! Freeze! I can't. I can't. I just can't. What else could I do? He did open himself up for it. 
<laughs> this guy cat calls you over and he bets that you can't hit three balloons in a row. You don't have to tell us this. We were there. Yeah, then you stagger up to the booth and bang, bang, bang. <laughs> the dog had went to dance, but I compensated for that. <laughs> and then the whack before the dog goes into his hands. <laughs> If he not a fence, he was reaching for a stuffed part of your anatomy. <laughs> and you did get a stuffed rabbit toy out of it. Yes, I did. You're coming home with me, Mr. Flopsy. Yes, you are. Hey. Hey, I heard that. I'm sorry. We paused and I started thinking about... About the future. Uh, uh, actually, yes, I was. Aviva knows. Aviva sees. I am guessing that you are Aviva? I am. Aviva the mystic, delver of the depths, seer of the hidden. And what exactly do you see? That you are troubled by the past and worried about what future it might bring you into. That is actually accurate. Come inside my tent and I will show you more. I will show you... The lucidity. Come on, you're not falling for this, are you? I've done this scam. We've done this scam. Of course, but this time I'll refuse to be under the table. I know, Goldie, but even if you doubt the presence of mystical powers that govern our lives, as I do, there's still something to be gained by looking outside yourself. This is true. I have used the tarot myself. Not to gain insight into destiny, but merely to look at the places where my mind would go. I think we could use a fresh perspective on our present situation. Ugh, fine. But as a goof, this is all for the laughs. If she asks us to speak to the other side, she'll be seeing my backside as I head for the exit. We understand. Let us see what waits for us. On the other side of this curtain. Welcome to my sanctuary. Oh, wow. That's a lot of incense. How do you breathe in here? The ambiance is very nice. More elaborate than I would have expected for a place that needs to be transported from week to week. It is humble, but it is home. And so much prettier now that you have brought a bouquet of flowers. What are you talking about? We didn't bring you anything. Ah, I believe she means us. Our names. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's a pretty good trick. All right, Aviva, give us your pitch. What I offer you is something unique. I will not attempt to fool you with cheap parlor tricks or confidence games. What I have is much more potent. We are listening. The lucidity is more than a game. Once you take it inside, you begin a journey of discovery. A glimpse of the possibility is unimagined. Take it inside. So this is some sort of hallucinogen? We've experimented with such things before, but they're not the type of thing that we really go for. Especially with strangers. No offense. Ah, but you see, with those garden variety ingestibles, the trip is random. Your environment warps, but you end up in a dream. Random elements in bizarre combinations. That has been our experience, yes. But the lucidity is different. It shows you what might have been and what might one day be, but you are yourself, awake and aware through the process. A tale where you are the main character, but not the storyteller. Uh, that sounds potent. Not really the vibe we're going for this evening, but uh, we wish you all the best. You don't wish to partake of the insights you would gain from the lucidity? Politely, no. Oh dear. What's wrong? I wish you had been more clear about your reservations from the start. Well, we didn't know... Why do you say that? Because the process has already begun. You've been breathing it in since the moment you stepped inside. You drugged us? No. I invited you into the sacred process. 
Jones. What's going to happen to us? No way to tell. You will step back to a time that never was and see a world that isn't. That doesn't tell us anything. Oh boy. Oh, I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it? I'm definitely feeling it. We need to get out of here. You mustn't. The lucidity must run its course. Saffron, Goldie, grab my hands. We will endure this together. No, you mustn't touch. The process is meant for... Goldie? Saffron, thank goodness. What is going on? I am not sure. How do you feel? Sober and clear-headed. That's weird. Is this... I'm not sure how to say this. Is this... Later? Um, I don't believe so. We're dressed the same. And Mr. Flopsy is still here. Where are we? Not where we were, that's for sure. But this is still Massalia. I can smell it. You can smell where you are? Sharp nose. Plus, I've been here before. But it can't be... Uh, can't be what? That bar right there. That's the knuckle duster. You know it? I've been there several times. Only it can't be here. We can't be there. Why? Because they tore it down years ago. It was right at the start of the unpleasantness. It didn't match the high moral fiber that the six wanted to convey. Rough joint? The roughest. Zinnia used to take me here when she was still in her bar brawling phase. Looks like it's still rough. Those people look like they're being held hostage. Agreed. Two people in masks are guarding them. A cat and a Dog? I'm not sure what the situation is, but we should get in there. Agreed. If only we could... Oh, wait. Good news. There's Zinnia. She's inside. Must have gotten here first. All right, let's go. Uh, hang on. I don't think that's... Zinnia, we're here. Yes, you are. Join the audience. What are you talking about? Uh, take your sword from my neck. Stay right where you are, pretty. Come any closer, and you'll get a lot shorter. It's me. I've never seen you before in my life. But of course, my reputation precedes me. So nice to meet a fan. What has she done to you? You should be more worried about what I'm going to do to you. If you and your friend don't start listening. Ouch! You cut me! Down on your knees. Like good girls. That's it. Uh, ah. Some audiences can be so unruly. Goldie, what is going on? What did that witch do to Zinnia? That's just it. I don't think that's Zinnia. What are you talking about? I know my wife. Yes, but that isn't your wife. Remember what Aviva said about the past? I think we're seeing a Zinnia who never met her Saffron. Oh, heavens. But who are the people in the masks? Oh, now she's making out with the dog. Wow, she's going for it. Now she's providing the same attention to the cat. Oh, I can't watch this. Yeah, you should look away. What is she? Oh, that's what the zippers are for. Whoa, Saffron, keep not looking. Good kitty, good puppy. Play nice and maybe I'll allow you to speak again once you've earned it. She hopped up on the bar. You can look now. Good people of Marseille, your hero has arrived. All hail la hedoniste. Am I not the greatest champion? I who slew Equity Electric. I who killed the Emperor. I who murdered Count Blanche. No one can stand against me. And so I have returned to claim what is owed me. And that is anything or anyone I want. Sounds like she's still doing the good work in her own way. Goldie, she killed her own mother. She's out of control. Who is speaking while I am speaking? I do not share a stage. And I think that's your problem. This is a bad idea. Somewhere under there is still Zinnia. I can reach her. I hope those aren't your last words. You have something to say? Say it to my face. Hello, Zinnia. 
I'm Saffron. Ma, ma, what a beautiful flower. Good to know some things never change. You have something you wish to say to me? To the hedonist, savior of Marseille? First off, I wanted to say thank you for all the heroics it seems you've done. It can't have been easy. It certainly was not. Finally, someone who gets that. But uh, there's another way you can show your gratitude. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> this is something I never do. And maybe that's your problem. This me, me, mine, mine, now, now lifestyle, it sounds exhausting and lonely. What are you talking about? In every part, I have boys and girls and everything in between waiting to serve my every desire. Not every desire. You have something to offer? Something uh, exotic? I should warn you, there's rarely a pleasure I have not tried. And all for what? You seem to be trying to dig a hole and fill it at the same time. All that gets you is nowhere. I don't like how this is making me feel. But that's just it. You're not really feeling anything. All this indulgence, this hedonism, it's left you numb. So you raise the stakes and the waters keep rising. <laughs> Dare you say these things to me? You don't know me. I don't. And I do. I know a version of you that's much calmer, stable, happier. Do you even remember what happy feels like? I don't understand the question. And that's the problem. Let me show you another way. May I kiss you? I could lock my lips with anyone in this establishment and they would be glad for the experience. I didn't ask you to kiss me. I said, may I kiss you? <laughs> yes, of course. I just don't see what the... Do you well. That was... Saffron? Yes, Zinnia. It's me. My sweet Saffron. Where have I been? Gone. But you came back to me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, things are getting weird again. Goldie, grab onto me. Zinnia, I think I'm... Saffron! Where did she go? Saffron? Goldie? I'm here, I'm here. Where did Saffron go? Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of this. It's this drug, this lucidity. Last time we got to see what you might have been like if you'd never met us. You did? Was I... Seal... Sexy? Very much so. You had this pirate dominatrix thing going on. But that's beside the point. You were also murderous and corrupt. But still hot. Yes, but would you please focus? If we're together, then that means we're going to see a vision of Saffron without our influence. If I was a sex-obsessed killer without you, what might she be? Running a criminal syndicate? Or the next president? Uh, some might say those two things are the same, yes? Ah. But yeah, she's a force of nature. What could stop her? Dearest, where are you, my love? No way. Excuse me, young lady. Have you seen a... Never mind, there she is, if you'll excuse me. Was that Bart? My wife's ex fiance Yes, it was. Oh, no. There you are, dear heart. Oh, Bart, I got all turned around. And suddenly you weren't there and I didn't know where I should go. Don't fret, your dear husband has found you again. And all is right with the world. I just need to speak to these two gentlemen in this uh, <clears throat> sporting house and we'll be on our way. That sounds perfect. Look at all the pretty things they have on display in the shop. You pick something out and I'll buy it for you upon my return. Doesn't that sound nice? You are ever so kind to me, dear husband. Fret not, I shall return quickly. This is just gross. How did you manage to break me from this bed? Um, Saffron said all her amazing words to you and then got you to kiss her and poof. I don't think it's going to be that straightforward this time. Goldie, you should know by now that nursing about me is straight. Yeah, I should have thought of that. You go introduce yourself to your wife. 
weird. And I'll see what that lion liar Bart is up to. It's not often you get to meet the love of your life twice. We should all be so lucky. Here we go. Bonjour, madame. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't speak French. Well, some things never change. I've learned some English. If you wouldn't mind helping me practice. Your accent is so exotic. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm... Oh my. Are you all right? I'm sorry. I looked over at you and felt as if I might swoon. How odd. Maybe we were lucky after all. Lucky how? My husband and I were trying to start a family. It hasn't been going well. I'm uh, sorry to hear that. Thank you. He's ever so diligent about it. And you? I'm happy to perform my wifely duties. How are you? I'm sorry. We've barely met, and here I am discussing private matters. I find you very easy to talk to, and yet we've just met. My name is Saffron. And I am Zinia. Enchanté. Oh my. I haven't been kissed on the hand by a lady before. They must do things differently in France. Indeed. There are worlds of opportunities I could make you aware of. Things you could barely dream about. Oh, I don't do much of that. Much of what? Dreaming. I'm married and safe with a comfortable house and a growing library. That's all I'm supposed to want. I mean, that's all I've ever wanted. So I suppose I'm living my dream. Now, what are you up to? Gentlemen, please. This is just a minor misunderstanding. It's, it's a bookkeeping error. My wife sometimes switches around her numbers. I assure you, I'll have the remainder once the next payment of my wife's trust comes in. If you can just wait until... Oh, please. Not my beautiful face. Bug off, creeps, or I'll stab you someplace, squished. Yeah, you better run. Thank you, miss. I have no idea who those two men were. I think they were just... Kurt Purse is trying to take advantage of a pillar of the community. Give it a rest, Bart. Those were bookies, and you owe them money. Have we met? No. Then I know who you are. Uh, my reputation precedes me. It's good to have such renown. That's one way of looking at it. My, you are quite fetching, aren't you? What? You have saved me. Perhaps I could thank you properly with a drink or a meal. Maybe breakfast? Are you seriously hitting on me? You're married. Yes, but even a collared dog still wants to hunt, especially when the quarry is so fetching. I'm going to give you back your hand and you'll keep it to yourself. Fine. You can't blame a man for trying. Yes, I can. I've had a very difficult day. These men just won't see reason. How much are you into them for? Six. That's not so bad. Sixteen. That's a bit worse. Sixty thousand. Sixty thousand? It's just, I love the ponies, but they don't seem to love me back. Why do you think that is? You want the short list or the long? Oh, I apologize. I'm having a little trouble catching my breath. You are wound up very tightly. Why, thank you. Did you take that as a compliment? Of course. Bart is very particular on what I wear. This dress is quite tight, and the corset makes it difficult to catch my breath. Then why do you wear it? He insisted. He's very insistent, as most men can be. Are you married? <laughs> as a matter of fact, I am. Oh, then you understand. The lengths we go to to please our husbands. That has not been my experience. He insists on dressing me in my finery when we go out, but it's so odd. The way we promenade. I'm sorry, I do not know this world. Uh, promenade is when we go for a walk, not to get somewhere, but to see and be seen. When we're out like that and I look like this, 
he never looks at me. He won't even walk with me. He always walks two steps behind. Isn't that odd? In other circumstances, I might speak of how much that view pleases me, but this is not the time. This is not, in fact, what is happening there. It isn't? No, for you see, as he has made you so appealing, he's watching how other people watch you. He knows you are his, and so he is seeing the lust and envy in others at what they cannot have. That can't be true. What good is having a trophy wife if you don't show off the trophy? <laughs> You are so odd. You don't know the half of it. The things you say, I... Oh, I can't seem to catch my breath. I say, what's going on over there? Saffron, listen to me. This laugh you have, it isn't real, and it's drowning you. What? What are you saying? Get your hands off my weight! I can't stop him! Let me show you more, that you can be more that you needn't be restrained anymore. Bart, I don't feel well. Saffron, all I want to do is set you free. All you need to say is yes. <laughs> yes! <sighs> oh my gosh, I can finally breathe. Get this thing off of me. Zinnia? Sweet Saffron. What am I wearing? At the moment, very little. Ugh, who cares? You are you, aren't you? Not... Oh yes, that's my lovely wife. So glad to have you back. Where are we? Saffron? Bert? Don't leave me. I'll find you. Oh no, not again. Goldie, run! I'm trying. Reach out your... Merde! Where is our girl? Someplace she doesn't want to be, I'd imagine. She doesn't talk much about what her life was before she met us. I never wanted to pry. I got the impression the happy stories were far fewer than the sad ones. Goldie is always so interested to hear our tales. Perhaps we should have listened harder to hers. If we're lucky, we'll make that change together. Speaking of luck, it seems our Goldie has run out of it. That is a whole lot of police officers. And look whom they are surrounding. Goldie, sitting on a stoop, her wrist chained up. Oh, Zinnia, I don't think I've ever seen her look so sad. Let us listen and see what this man with the ridiculous moustache is saying to her. Well, 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 if it isn't the infamous Marigold. It's Goldie. What was that? Nothing. I'll admit it. You had me led me on a merry chase. Six countries, a dozen cities, so many fake names left behind, along with the broken homes. They had it coming. But through it all, I knew I'd find you. Detective Stogie Carmike always gets his man, even when the man is a lady, which you are. Wow, some amazing detective work there. I really thought I had you in Madrid, but... Just trying out the crown jewel scam, really. You must have been desperate. I was never in Madrid. Sure you weren't. No, seriously. I was never in Madrid. I don't know who you almost caught there, but it wasn't me. And who did I shoot? Never mind. I almost had you in... Berlin? Yeah, that was me. I knew it. You've been running game all over Europe, but eventually your luck had to run out. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I just really hoped it wouldn't be you that got me. Takes one to know one. What? Uh, I mean, I'm rubber and you're glue, and now you're stuck. Oh, gods, how in the world did you catch me? This is humiliating. You don't seem as caught as I wanted you to be. What does that mean? I don't know, I wanted you to be broken, beating, cursing my name to the heavens. Look, bro, I'm tired. This isn't one of those elaborate scam cons, is it? Like, you're trying to get caught so you can steal the diamonds from the police evidence locker? There's diamonds in the police evidence locker? Uh, no. Huh. No. That's the worst part. You've taken down everyone I've ran with. I was out on my own, and you caught me at a vulnerable time. In fragrant deliciousness. Ew. 
That's not how you say that. But what can I say? I was lonely. He was handsome and so wonderfully stupid. Which I guess made me stupid too. Then I nabbed you. Surrounded by cops. Cuffs at the back. Damn it. These are strong in the arm Model C's. Model B. Crap. This is already humiliating. Can you spare me the gloating? You know I can't. <sighs> I do. But there may be a way out of this for you. Ew, pass. I, I haven't even... Oh, you thought I meant... No, I wouldn't. I mean, it's not that I haven't. Or that you're not. In a way, it does make sense. It does not. Can we go back to your extortion plan as I don't want to vomit on myself? You are a prized catch. That is to be certain. I may even get a promotion for it. Bully for you. But there's a way for me to get more. Maybe even a title. Bringing you in would cause my star to rise, but bringing in your mother would send it shooting across the sky. What? Come on. The mysterious marigold is fine. Good for a few headlines. But bringing down La Contessa? That's a book deal for sure. Can you even write? Can you even read? I have pages and pages of charges against you from all over the place. Any one of them would send you away. But all of them? Too many bullets to dodge, Marigold. I can take it. Can you? Look, you got some skills. People trust you for some reason, which makes it easier for you to rob them. But that was when you were anonymous. Now you're famous. And with fame comes consequence. <laughs> Nobody cares about me. On that, we agree. You want an escape artist, Marigold. In all your charges, I don't even see any fights. Which means once you're inside, when the bars slam shut, all your cunning, your skills, they all mean absolutely nothing. You can't ask me to do this. You're already nabbed. You're going away. Give us your mother, and maybe you don't have to fall quite so far. I don't like any of this. What choice does she have? They've backed her into a corner. We cannot let her do this. The choice is impossible. You're right. This might not be our Goldie, but we can still help her out. What are you thinking? I'm thinking this Detective Carmike needs to get the full Zinnia treatment. Are you sure? Absolutely. But you said you hated to see it, that it caused your blood to boil. I know, but I love you. I trust you. And I know where you'll be sleeping tonight. Should we escape from this drug-induced nightmare, I mean? Very well. How do I look? Ravishing, as usual. Wish me luck. No, I won't go that far. But just try not to make him fall in love with you. When these hips sway, sometimes even I cannot control them. Don't I know it. Come on, kid. This is a short time offer. Give up your mother or we throw the book at you. Excuse-moi, uh, officer? Yes, I mean, yes, ma'am. How may I help you? You are the police officer, yes? I am. A detective, in fact. Ah. <gasps> How perfect. I have this problem, and I was uh, hoping you could help me with it. I'll help you with anything you'd like. It seems I have dropped my pocketbook in the alley, and uh, this dress is so tight, I can hardly bend over to look for it. Yes, I can see that. So you can see my problem? I can. I do. Would you come with me into this dark alleyway, away from all your friends, and help me look for it? Of course. I mean, it's my civic duty. I would be ever so grateful. Let me just guide you over. It seems your hand has slipped from my waist. So it has. My mistake. Mm, I didn't say that it was a bad thing. <laughs> oh, boy. Ugh, gross. I'll second that. Who are you? A friend. 
anyone's friend in particular or just generally well disposed towards people? Today, I'm your friend. Is this one of those good cop, bad cop things? Stogie gets pulled away by a woman way outside of his level and now you show up with the sweeter offer? No, I'm here to help you out. Help you get out of here, I mean. I'll be fine. Will you? Yeah, something will happen. I'll figure it out. Goldie. How do you know my name? I know a lot about you. And your mother. Did she send you? She did not. So this is one of those you scratch my back things? Because I don't like owing anybody anything. I think that may be part of your problem. You've been let down by a lot of people. Abandoned. Forgotten. So pile it on, why don't you? But just because some people disappointed you doesn't mean all of them will. That hasn't been my experience. Which is why I'm asking you to trust me. Have a little faith that I actually want to help you. Not for myself, but just for you. You really mean that, don't you? Or you think you do. Which means you're either crazy or... Or... Or a kind of kind I haven't seen before. Maybe both. Maybe. So do I have to agree to something? Sign a paper to join your cult or whatever? No. It's just taking me longer to unlock these cuffs than I expected. But I think I might... And you're free. How did you do that? Those cuffs are unpickable. I had a very good teacher. Really? I'd like to meet her. You already have. It was you... So, now what? Now nothing. You're free. You can keep on running. I don't expect anything from you. Or? Or? Where you can try another way. Attempt to trust again. Share a community with us. Even though it might blow up in my face? Burn me again? Even so. Love all. Trust a few. Do wrong to none. Shakespeare, right? I love that guy. Well, see you around. Oh, I hope you are successful. My engine might run hotter than yours, but it can only run so long with no fuel. Are you all right? I endured the skillless groping, but when he pushed that bushy caterpillar that sat on his lip into my face, I knocked him out with a trash can lid. Where is Goldie? Gone. We've lost her? I don't think so. If you love something, set it free. Wait for it. So, when you say community... It's actually more of a society. Of ladies. The swashbuckling ladies debate society. Welcome back, Goldie. I'm not letting go of either of you ever again. Ah, here we go. Let's see where it takes us now. Whatever we face, we do it together. I really don't want to face bondage Zinnia again. <gasps> Zinnia! Saffron! We're here, Goldie. Not the worst for the wearing. And we're all, you know, us. There is my lovely wife. And there is my lovely wife. And there is our best friend. So far so good. How do you both feel? Like I'm being lowered down from a cloud. I was going to say it was more like stepping out of a warm bath, but the water is steam and it's your brain. How about you, Zinnia? I'm good. That's it? Bit of a dry mouth, but uh, to be expected. We're back where we started. Only the tent is gone. And it looks like the carnival's closing up shop. Where is it? I know it's got to be here somewhere. What? Have you lost something? No, but I have a feeling, and uh, aha, Mr. Flopsy, you appear to be holding a letter. We should have known. My flowery friends, I hope you enjoyed your trip. Isn't it wonderful to see the world and yet never even leave your own town? The lucidity showed me a very clear path, and I hope it does the same for you. I can't pretend to know what you've seen. Maybe it tore your little trio apart, or perhaps it somehow brought you together. Either way, I hope it was time well spent. I'm picking up the check on this one. You can get the next one. Be seeing you soon. F. The mysterious interloper strikes again. Well, which was it? Brought together or torn apart? I will begin. Goldie, 
I have been worried that we are taking too much of you, that being around us and our crazy world has kept you from making friends outside of the madness. You were? That's so sweet. I appreciate it, but I have more friends now than I ever had before. You two are great, and you've exposed me to so many cool people. You're right, I don't make friends easily, but that's fine. I realized I'm not the social butterfly, and I'd rather have five close friends than 25 casual ones. I see we need not have worried. And speaking of worries, Saffron, did you have something to say? I do. Asinia, I saw you flirting with the meat lady, and I got a bit jealous. <laughs> oh. This isn't funny. You are right. I am sorry. I will explain my reaction in a moment. Please, go on, my love. And I worried I had been holding you back from all those experiences, those pleasures you could have had with other people, that you'd settled down when you still had wild oats to spread. Why would oats... I regretted it the moment I said it. It's a weird metaphor. But, and I know Goldie's right there, but... Uh, is this enough? Am I enough for you? Saffron, as we have seen, pursuing pleasure for pleasure's sake can lead to disaster. What I have, what we do, is more because it is with you and the things we do together. Oh my. Still standing right here. Are fulfilling to me on a different level. The joy you give me is heart, soul and body. And what I need, I will ask for, and we will talk about. Which is another of your turn-ons, oui? That's you. Hey, how you doing? Still just being here. That makes me feel much better. But now I have to ask, why did you laugh when I said I was jealous? Because, sweet, gorgeous Saffron, the meat lady, whose name is Annette, by the way, wasn't flirting with me. I beg to differ. I know flirting when I see it. Oh, it was flirting, but not in the way you think. She was asking after you. She? She what? Annette is quite taken with you. And even after I told her of our situation, she was quite insistent. She had uh, several different scenarios to try and uh, make things work. Annette was interested in me? Wow. A lot of heat just flying past Goldie today. Apologies, Goldie. It's fine. It's all fine. It just proves that no matter the reality, we're good for each other and we're better together. So, have we covered it all? Does this mean we are all good? Honestly, I'm so flustered I don't even remember what I was upset about. Oh, it was because... Perhaps we uh, might go over and have a conversation with Annette. Say bonsoir. Maybe uh, see what might be on the menu. Oh, I don't think we should. Should we? I don't want to provide any misleading leads for leading. Yo, Saffron is just loopy. I love it. It is merely a conversation. While this drug is passing out of our systems, let us uh, spend time thinking about possibilities. Season 5, Episode 4, The Lucidity, was written, directed, and edited by Kyle Olson, starring Amy Shaw as Zinnia, Anastasia Plum as Saffron, Kara Gallo as Goldie, hey, that's me, and Louis Barber as Bart. Our theme song is written and performed by Headley Knights, and our interstitial music is Intended Force by Kevin McLeod. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at Ox and Hair so you won't miss the next thrilling adventure. The Swashbuckling Ladies Debate Society is an Ox and Hair media production. Old format, new ideas. Mm-hmm.